everybody. My name is Hal. Glad to be here. Are you glad to be here? <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad to be here. Been a good day today. Let's see. <clears throat> the title of this video is Songs That Build Your Chord Skills. And we're going to talk about songs about uh, things you need to do, what you need to do to build your chord skills. <clears throat> when I was growing up, um, when I was about 14, I said to myself, you know, I want to be a guitar player. I really want to be a guitar player. And I had talked to uh, one of my dad's friends, and he told me what to look at, look for in a guitar. You know, a guitar that had a radius to the neck, and uh, one that had steel strings, and, and anyway, it was what his idea was. And so we, uh, I got a guitar. I got a, an Epiphone guitar, an acoustic, and started playing. And in, around that time, let's talk about the songs that I played. And I want you in the chat to be able to write down the songs that you like. And uh, what I'm thinking of today are songs that have quick chord changes. And they're mostly, not all, but a lot of them have open position chords. And back in uh, the early 70s, when I was really starting to play guitar, there were a lot of songs that used open position chords. I'm really glad because this helped me to gain uh, skills in these open position chords. And we're going to go through some songs now that I love. Uh, I really, uh, well, let's see, John Denver, he had been playing for a while. In 1974, he uh, came out with Annie's song, and it goes like this. Now, the chord... The chords aren't really fast. You fill up my senses Like a night in a forest Like the mountains in springtime Like a walk in the rain Okay, so it's like every three beats. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. are pretty quick chord changes, especially for a beginner. Uh, let's see. One that uh, I loved listening to, a band that I loved listening to, was uh, the Doobie Brothers. And they had a song that went like this. It's called Listen to the Music. And um, it's actually a bar chord. But at the time, I didn't really know a lot about bar chords. I didn't have a lot going on with bar chords. Let me put my camera in a different position so you can see my guitar a little better. Let's see if this works better for you. There we go. There we go. You can see a little better now. Okay, so uh, what I didn't know what to do about that. I had figured out the song, and uh, this is what I came up with. I put the capo on the fourth fret, and I started playing that chord. So I had a C chord going to F, back to C. Don't you feel it growing day by day? People getting ready for the news like that. That's the way I played the song because I didn't know how to play it. And maybe I'll do a video on that sometime and show you exactly how to play it up here. I really like it up here. But let's go on. Um, another person that I really liked was uh, Don McLean. And in 1971, he came out with Nine, uh, American Pie. And uh, 
And that was when I was, uh, let's see, I was about 14 years old. And so it goes like this. A long, long time ago I can still remember how that music used to make me smile. So we have these chords. And we move from chord to chord. And maybe they'd be happy for a while. And so there's a lot of chord changes. They weren't super fast. I'm going to get to some that are set faster, in fact, right now. In, uh, oh, in 1973, Led Zeppelin came out with this. Here, let me get that so you can see my, my nut right there, right here. So we had a lot of notes, hammer-ons, pull-offs, right, going to different chords. But when it goes to this part, I don't, I don't think this is exactly the same strum exactly exactly. It's pretty close though. You know what it is. Watch what happens when we get down to the chords, the open position chords. this D. Actually, I'm doing an open to a D. D to A to G. Right? And that was a, a, a fast switch that I had to do. And I had to learn how to do my A chord like that instead of like this because you can't go from here really fast. I had to go in fact, I'm using my pinky right there, aren't I? I guess I could do it this way. Yeah, this is my default, so I keep going back to that. Um, another person that I really, really liked was uh, Paul Simon. And in 1972, he came out with me and Julio down by the schoolyard. It goes like this. So this is a chord that he's got. This is a, this is a D chord. Oops. So we got these fast chord changes here. Well, the mama pajama rolled out of bed and ran to the police station. Now those chord changes aren't very quick. But the strumming is really fun, and it's got a lot of rhythm in it. But when you get to me and Julio down by the schoolyard, see you, me and Julio down by the schoolyard. Right? So those chord changes are pretty quick. A to D, back to A to E. Yeah. And then uh, La Bamba. Let's see, La Bamba, you know, came out uh, in 1958, and you can play it in different keys, you know. Let's see, how's it go? What's it? ba da ba la la bamba Wait, wait, on the C. ba da ba la la bamba Que necesita una poca de gracia Una poca de gracia pa' mi patilla Arriba y arriba So, uh, you know, you're going from C to F to G. What songs did you learn that have really quick switches in them? I'm going to do a couple of more. Um, one of the people I really liked was... Uh, here, let's... I want you to see my face just for a second. <laughs> One of the people I really liked was Cat Stevens. And so uh, 
the first song that came to my mind when I was thinking about this uh, thought was uh, Tuesday's Dead. Tuesday's Dead came out in 1971 on, uh, what was it? Uh, I'm trying to remember if it was Teaser and the Firecat, that album, or if it was, uh, let's see, T for the Tillerman. I can't remember which one it was. I'd have to look it up. Anyway, um, I'm going to show you Tuesday's Dead really quick here. So Tuesday's Dead's pretty cool. So you have this, it looks like an F chord. And then it goes to look something that looks like a D chord. If I make a mark in time, I can't say the mark is mine. I'm only the underline of the world. Yes, I'm like him, just like you. I can't tell you what to do. Like everybody else, I'm searching through what I've heard. Whoa, where do you go when you don't want no one to know? Who told tomorrow Tuesday's day? Right, it's a very, very fun song to play. A lot of fast chord changes. I loved that one. That one really helped me to learn how to do fast chord changes. And, uh, you know, and other songs that Cat Stevens did. He had a lot of great songs and, and a lot of quick chord changes. Even, mm, let's see, morning has broken. Like the first morning. Right, you got all these chords. There's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Blackbird has eight, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you got a lot of chord changes there. Let's do one more. Good Lovin' by the Rascals was pretty quick. Yeah, yeah. I don't know that one off the top of my head. I'd have to look that one up. I'm going to do one more by Cat Stevens. That's what Bob said. Good loving by the rascals. Um, Hard-headed woman. Now this one isn't as fast as Tuesday's Dead, but it's uh, it's got a lot of good chord changes in it. It's got D minor, G, C, C minor, F, B flat. It goes like this. Looking for a hard-headed woman One who will take me for myself And if I find my hard-headed woman I won't need nobody else No, no, no I'm looking for a hard-headed woman One who will make me say what's what. One who will make me do my best. I lost my notes. One who will make me do my best. And if I find my hard headed woman, I know the rest of my life will be blessed. Yes, yes, yes. Guide you on a floor and move so smooth, but have no answers. Oh, oh, oh. When you ask, What'd you come here for? I don't know why. I messed up on my chords there. There you go. I liked playing, playing Amazing Grace, Robert says at an old people's home where my brother sung and the lead tune and I sung the alto. Very good, the countertenor. Fantastic, Robert. Yeah, that's really fun. So these songs that we're talking about, here, let me put my guitar, my camera, up where you can see me again. So we can see each other face to face. <coughs> so 
these are some songs that I've loved to play in my life when I was getting to learn uh, chords and everything. Uh, and, and back in the early 70s and the 60s, you know, there were a lot of songs using open position chords. Even bands like, you know, Led Zeppelin and, and uh, The Who and uh, things like that, they had a lot of open position chords and they sound really good. Uh, and learning your open position chords very quickly, right? Learning how to move back and forth between those chords are really important. One of the things you want to do is you want to make sure that you can go back and forth between chords at least one every second. Right? C to F or C to G. Now some people do the G like this. I think learning both ways is very, very important. Or G to D. Right? Or D like this. Or E. So anytime you have a couple of chords that are difficult to play in a song, rock them back and forth. And just take your time. For instance, let's use G and D as an example. Sometimes when I'm working with students, I'll time them and I'll put that lap feature on there and I'll, every time they hit a chord, I hit lap, 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 lap. And I will see how fast they can go from chord to chord. Usually they can go from, for instance, D to G faster than they can go from G to D. So, uh, you know, you want to be able to go really quick between chords, but not just playing chords right or you don't want to just do that you want to put it you want to use a song to help you because that's more motivating so some of these songs that we've talked about for those of you who just who came a little late let's go over one, the ones I talked about I talked about any song by John Denver that's a good one I love that one I talked about listen to the music I talked about American Pie by Don McLean uh, Over the Hills and Far Away by Led Zeppelin, Me and Julio Down by the Schoolyard by Paul Simon, La Bamba, uh, Tuesday's Dead by Cat Stevens and Hard-Headed Woman by Cat Stevens, and then we have in the chat DGAIC, Bob's putting down Loving That Good Lovin' by The Rascals had a D and a G and an A. Yep, because those chords are what we call first position, uh, excuse me, they're um, primary chords in the key of D. D is one, G is four, A is five. D, G, A, one, four, five. In the key of C, C, F, G, one, four, five. That's why La Bamba does one, four, five the whole time. Ba -da -ba -da -la -bamba. Or if you're in the key of G, G, C, D, one, four, five, one, four, five. Ba -da -ba -da -la -bamba. Ba -da -ba -da -la -bamba. Can is a C -da. right? In the key of D, we already talked about the D, G, A. In the key of A, B, C, D, E, F. In the key of F, F would be one, B flat would be four, C would be five. You'll notice that in the songs that I played, for instance, when I played um, uh, let's see, when I played Hard-Headed Woman, there was a section in there when I went from B flat to F. Right? That's because we're in the key of F for a second. We're going 4-1, 4-1. Let's see, F, G, O, G, we already talked about it. G, C, and D, 1, 4, 5. In the key of A, it would be A, D, E, 1, 4, 5. And in the key of E, E, A, B. So you're going to find these chords going back and forth. They're very, very important chords, primary chords in those keys. Let's look at the chat here. Joseph says, good morning. Oh, he says, I loved your teaching on Give Me Love. Give me love, give me love, give me peace on earth. Thank you very much, Joseph. I appreciate that. Um, I was trying to remember if I had actually come out with a, another, uh, a, what do you call it? Uh, 
if I had updated the live stream that I did. I can't remember if I did or not. Uh, Joseph says, also, and the short chord lessons. You're welcome. I've got more short chord lessons coming, Joseph. Uh, I just did a, um, a video session this week, and I did probably, uh, I don't know, six, seven, eight more chords. Mm -hmm. And I've only released one, and that was yesterday. That was that A7. I think it was this one. A7 sus4. I did the one before, that A7 sus4. So watch out for more chords. All right, very good. Thank you for being here. Anything else? Any questions that I can answer? So learn songs that have quick chord progressions. That'll be so fun for you. You know, discover them. Anybody uh, in the chat? or in the comments below, please put the, your suggestions for songs that have quick chord progressions. I couldn't think of any modern ones right now. Uh, so, you know, I brought up all these that I had learned when I was learning to play when I was a teenager that I really loved. And I still like them. They're really good songs. Okay, let's see. Um, I do have a Patreon page. I do have a subscribe star page. I do have a PayPal. Look, links are in the description. You can donate to me and also hang out with me like I'm going to do in just a minute with some of my supporters for a while. All right. Thanks a lot. I'm going to go. Thanks for being here. We'll talk to you later. Or maybe I should do this. <laughs>